All right, let's walk through our Stripe and Intact integration. So we've got two workflows for Stripe and Intact. One starts with the data in Stripe. We pick it up and move it to Intact, kind of a lift and a shift. The other workflow is more of a traditional billing process from Intact using Stripe as the processor. So we'll work through these, uh, these diagrams real quick, and then I'll show you a live demo. So to start off with, when things are coming in to Stripe, whether it be one-off charges, a online like e-commerce site, or you're running subscriptions, we start with the customer and we look over an intact and we see if they already exist or if they don't, we'll create them if they don't. We'll pass unique identifiers across both objects. After that, we'll take the invoices that are in Stripe if there are invoices and we'll create the associating SO documents or invoices in intact along with the detailed line items of those. And then last but not least that charge because you got money in hand, we'll take that charge and we'll create the AR payment and AR payment details against those invoices showing it as now paid. So again, very much a lift and a shift. The data here, we move it over. If you guys don't use invoices, we can go straight from the charge and create the SO doc inside of Intact, which I'll show you in just a second. Last thing here, if you are running subscriptions, uh, those create invoices from there, and then those will pass through the same workflow. So Stripe will handle the engine of that recurring billing, creating the invoices, and then we'll move that over. So that's workflow number one, very traditional methodology there. Okay, so let's look at the second workflow here, starting with Intact, again, more of a traditional billing method. If you're running contracts over here, this works really well. Or if you have CRM like Salesforce or HubSpot pushing deals, close one uh, over here to Intact as, as contracts or as ESSA documents, invoices, uh, this works really well. So in this workflow, everything starts in Intact. The ESSA document, the invoice is already created. We put a tab on the invoice for called Stripe. And then there is a field that we use to sync that over to Stripe. You can, uh, you can do that manually per invoice, or you can do it via automation and run them in batch. If you have a hundred of them ready to go, just sync them all over. We do the reverse. We start at the customer. We look over to Stripe to see if they exist or they don't exist. We'll create them if they don't. Then we'll move on and create the invoice over inside of Stripe and the invoice lines associated with that. And then the more unique thing is Stripe has a payment URL that you can send to your customer to pay this invoice off. We take that URL and we write it to Intact on that SO doc. So it's right there, ready to go. And then you can email that out to your customer so they can pay it. Once they click the link, they put their details in, it creates that charge. And then that runs through the AR payment, AR payment detail against the invoice showing it's now paid off. So that, that works really well as traditional billing. The other really great thing about this is I mentioned contracts. So if you are doing recurring billing from the Intact side, we can show uh, this invoice to auto advance. So when it's set to auto advance, when we know that it should just flow through the workflow, you can sync it over. And instead of getting that link back to send over, we can go ahead and charge the customer. We can let the, the integration know that. So you get that AR uh, coming back through immediately. No need to send that URL a second time. So that's workflow number two. So let's look, jump into what this actually looks like. So I'm gonna be in Stripe. I'm gonna create a new customer uh, manually here. We're not smoking mirrors. So you can see this in real time. I'll call it intact transform. Email in. Now we have a customer created. We'll go to that customer. I'll put a payment method real quick on file. I'll use a credit card for this process. Now what we're gonna do is the charge from Stripe over to Intact as an invoice. So we're not creating an invoice in here yet. So I'll just create a payment, which is a charge. We'll say it's 99.99. I'll hit create payment. That goes through, show succeeded in Stripe. I'll hop over to Intact into the order entry module. I'll hit refresh here. So there's the new customer that was created. We have the reference number is the charge ID from inside of Stripe. We'll view this invoice. It was for $99.99. We've got our line item down here of Stripe charge. That's just the item. And then we've got the Stripe tab I mentioned. So there's a couple of things on here. We have a Stripe invoice that there were details that would show here. In this case, there was no Stripe invoice. Um, but the other piece is the Stripe payment down below. We have this charge ID that if you went and put this into Stripe, you would see that, that Stripe charge. So that's the first workflow. Let's go back to order entry, the main page here, and we'll create the second one real quick. We'll start manually to create this customer. 
we'll use the same one. We'll use base pricing of USD. We'll add a couple items down here. Make sure I have my location for each of these. Okay, so that was ready to go. Before I post it, I'm gonna come over here to the Stripe tab. This is that field I was talking about, set the Stripe invoice status to sync. I'll post it. That's flying all through the integration. So we don't have a reference number yet. It's gonna go out to Stripe, get that reference number and bring it back. We run all these through just for kind of extra credit here. We run all this stuff through smart event jobs. So this is kind of our traffic cop. If there was uh, a sync ready to go, it'd be sitting here, but most likely this one's already gone through. So I'll come back to Stripe, I'll hit refresh. Now we've got that, inter that invoice here for 4,700 and a payment waiting to be received. We'll come back to intact, back to OE. There's our second invoice. Now our reference number is an invoice number, IN from Stripe. Go to the Stripe tab here. Now we've got invoice details, the invoice number from Stripe. We've got that payment URL from Stripe that we'll send to our customers via the print email functionality. So I'm, instead of emailing that out, I'll just go ahead and click on this. This is what the customer would see. You can change color and logo, but end of the day, it's to get money in hand. You can see your, your line items here. I have a payment on file, so that's what's coming through. I'll hit pay. That's gonna go through Stripe first, showing it as paid off. So we'll kind of walk this backwards here. I'll hit refresh and Stripe. It shows paid and succeeded. Now I'll go back to intact and probably give this about five seconds couple of refreshes and we'll see that payment status will change to paid and that will be the full workflow front to back. There we go. Now it's showing as paid. I'll come back last but not least to the Stripe tab. Not only do you have the invoice information, now we've got the charge ID from Stripe as well as Stripe fee transaction ID, which we take Stripe fees and we put them in their own GL so you can account for them appropriately.